Hey, that's not for you. Father of the Year Award goes to me, guys. I successfully handled both dogs this morning by myself. Sabrina has work at like 4 a.m. So I literally Father of the Year awarded it, handled both dogs. It's actually amazing how Blue's reacting to Kona, so that's a really good sign. We just got him a little doggy door for the warehouse so I can enclose him in the kitchen while I'm not there watching him. And we got some McDonald's. I know that's not the most healthiest choice, but sometimes a Father of the Year award gets a little break and he gets to have some hash browns and some iced coffee. Okay, this probably isn't very safe, but this is the cutest thing in the world. He like kept trying to jump down there and I said, fine, screw it, jump down there, see how you like it. And he actually just nuzzled up right on my foot. Hey, don't chew my NMDs, boy. Oh my goodness. Uh, we haven't really moved into the shop yet because we had no idea where to put any of the new lifts. We didn't know where to plant it and we weren't expecting the lifts to be here for a while. And you just saw all of the things. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Oh my god. Whose dog took a shit? Bro, already, already a mess in this place. We haven't even moved in fully and we're making it like home. A lot of you guys were asking how many more lifts are we gonna put in the shop? Are we gonna put one or get new ones? And actually, our boys, our partners over at Ben Pack, the day they found out that we got our new shop, were like, what do we need? We wanna be there for you. And they sent out a huge semi truck with what it looks like three lifts, a bunch of tools a bunch of cabinets, a bunch of shop stuff, and this is only half of the delivery. The other truck is gonna come later in the week. So as much as I wanted to do the certain RX-7 mod today, you might have to push that back maybe just one day because I'm gonna be spending the rest of today kind of moving in all of this into the new shop. Mickey, do you have the qualifications to be driving this vehicle? I used to work for the manufacturer, so it's good. Oh my god, guys, it's literally Christmas. Christmas has come early this year. And three of Ben Pack's new lifts, and they have a new color scheme, and they're black and gray now. Oh my gosh, I'm tripping out right now. All the meanwhile, I can't forget about my, my boys. Hey, boys. I went and got this doggy door this morning. So for the temporary, the dogs can have like an enclosed space. This one just wants to be with people all the time. Kona is becoming a little more independent. We've started the crate training with him, and although it's only been a couple days, this one, who hasn't been crate trained yet, whines and screams when he's left alone, but Kona is a little more used to it because he knows that his crying and screaming isn't gonna get him out of his crate, so he's a little more well-behaved. But I'm gonna come back in in a little bit to give you guys a little bathroom break. All right, boys, see you in a little bit. I'm gonna start unloading one of these first pallets. We have this pallet in here, we have that one, that shop press, three lifts, two more pallets, and then I think the second truck's gonna come tomorrow. So this is no joke. We wanna go full force with this new shop, and this is a great first start. Can you guys believe that I've only ever had one floor jack? That changes today. I've always gotten by with just one, and that's like the same one that I've used to go to the track and use in the shop. This one's crazy. Long frame floor jack. Wow. And I also bet it's gonna be super heavy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Good man. An industrial size swamp cooler. That's gonna come in handy this summer. I don't even know what this is. Look at these crates, these are serious. It's an oil drip pan. Air back oil drips. Ow! Splinters. So this has gotta be one of my favorite things that we have now for the shop. This is called go-karts. I don't know, honestly, quite how to use this yet because I haven't read the instructions. I don't know how this works yet, but what it does, you can spread both these legs open, nice meme, and you put it on the side of the wheel and then you use this and you like jack them together and it essentially like rolls up on these two silver beams and you can do it to all four of the tires so you can put your car on dollies. I have the Harbor Freight version of these, which 
we have over here. It's essentially these, but these ones you need to jack your car up and then put these underneath, which I mean they work, but it is, it is a lot nicer to have a jack version where you don't even have to do anything. And we have a cart just to hold these and wheel them around the shop. What's behind mystery box number one that's not labeled? Oh, another jack. Aluminum quick jack. Always good to have spares. I love that these ones come pre-assembled and you'd have to do nothing to get them ready. This would actually make for a perfect track side jack. And then we have the industrial one. Damn, this is a jack. Holy crap. I don't think I've ever seen a jack this big before. So this is a rack that's gonna hold all of these go-karts, but I don't think the second set of go-karts has come in yet, so at the moment we only have two, not four. But it's really cool because with this little cart mechanism, you get these, oh my god, this is really heavy, and you can stack them in here. Would you look at that? Ben Pack slash Ranger has a bunch of products I didn't even know that existed, and they offer all the stuff at a really good price. I'm gonna take a break on this for a little bit to get back to packing some orders. A third of the orders have been shipped out, so the other two thirds that haven't gotten their stuff yet, we're working on as fast as we can. We're waiting on just a couple more shipping supplies to come in. I screwed up. I miscounted the amount of bags that we had. What I mean by that is I thought, I don't want to show anyone's address here. So these are the bags that we've been shipping out. This is like the most recent artwork that we've had. And I miscounted how many we had left over and I needed like a thousand more. So I had to order these blank bags from Amazon to come in. So we kind of had like a day of no shipping, but now they're back. So we're back to packing orders and we still have like half, more than half to pack. And Calvin's leaving us tomorrow Stop. for three weeks. Three weeks, a three month. Weeks, this happened last year. There was a time last year where you were gone on your like family vacation and you were just gone for a month. So look at him now, get a good vision because we're not going to see this kid for a very long time. Two weeks. I'm not going to miss your fashion style. I even got you kicks and you just, nope. I, w I had to leave this morning and I didn't put I had dirty, I had crispy socks and couldn't, couldn't put them on. <laughs> wow, okay then. So we have a few hundred orders that are ready to go out. So you guys should mainly be getting this. Today's Monday, probably around Wednesday or Thursday, the latest. It's about to be five o'clock, so this is all we can get done for today, but the rest of the orders should be going out tomorrow. So I just caught wind that the lift installers are gonna be here tomorrow at 9 a.m., which means I can't leave this big mess here, which I was planning to leave all along. God damn it. Okay, so half of these boxes I can't even lift by myself, so I think I'm just gonna try and, well, I'm gonna leave a mess, but I'm gonna leave it an organized mess. I think that's the plan. Well, I can go ahead and stack another one of these bad boys. Oh, it's so heavy, what the fuck? I love that. I don't know why I get such satisfaction from that. Something that I'm not proud of is my grocery style habits. I need to learn how to cook because all the food that I end up getting is like microwavable shit. I mean, half of this is for the shop. Now that I'm looking at this, it looks really bad. And I feel like I'm going to get judged when I go to check out here. The past couple hours, I've been like doing adulting things. Oh, and I haven't yeah. been able to pick up the vlog. So I'm updating you guys at the grocery store. Going to the grocery store with Sabrina and her friends means ultimate harassment. 100% of the time. And I'm that guy that goes to the grocery store and has to go up and down every single aisle because I have no idea where any of the food is. It takes me a solid 45 minutes to go to the grocery store. I'm ending today's video as we try to get Blue to take his nightly poop. I wanna give a daily reminder to all those out there that thinking positively has a major impact on your life. I've had friends recently around me been in kind of a bad situation and they think negatively and like speak out loud negatively, whether they're joking or not, making like self-pity jokes and stuff. And this sort of reminder everybody out there, always be positive and to think in the most positive manner. It's not always the easiest if you're in a bad mood or like things lately have been not been adding up for you, but 
at the end of the day, having an overall positive mindset through everything will be better for yourself. And that's coming from full experience. Can you go poops? Can you go potties? Can you go potties? Looks like I'm gonna be here a while. As always, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I will see you first thing in the morning. Peace out and keep moving forward. And I'm feeling